I'm Carlos, I'm from Barcelona, and I'm 24 years old. I've lived in Scotland for the last four or five years. I paint and I do photograph, but in the last few years I've started to open up and allow like new things to kind of feed my practice. A lot of my practice happens outside the studio, and I like to think about the idea of, of a street archaeologist. So I literally go outside and I gather things and see things and take photographs. And then I come back to the studio and I see all, all the things that I've gathered and collected and, and start playing with it. It's literally like I have no idea what I'll do, and I've got confidence in the process of not knowing because I find like if you have like preconceived ideas of, of what you'll do, you, you can limit yourself. You know, there's no mystery, there's no chance. We get really attached with our work and we get, and we see it as a really precious and holy thing. Oh, it's art, it's painting. But then at the end, it's like a piece of, of rope and, you know, it's, it just matter. Like it's all in our minds. And I think, and I think we have to like let go and see see our practice as really like really playful and and just like i'm just gonna play and see see what happens and then that leads to something really exciting um and then like when you you know when you see it on a wall then you can get attached and you can be like oh my god so i've, I've been really interested in ideas um of time and and what so like the trace of of something and and the idea of like the tension of presence and absence and what is left after something is gone i suppose like painting abstract it it's also like a way of like making that um connection easier um because as you said like all these ideas of like time and trace it's it's metaphorical so it's not just like something physical that is gone and what is left with you know with this absence as you said, it's metaphorical. So like we, with memory as well, like we, there's a memory and then over time it starts disappearing. And then all, all is left is like a memory of that memory, a memory of that memory, the memory. And then you end up with like a tiny bit, like like small suggestion of that initial thing. And so with painting, I, I have no idea how they kind of reflect in the paintings. I suppose like, and the process is really loyal as well. So the painting, it carries so many layers and so much history. And at the end, like for me at the end is what remains more than what is created. And, and I expose the paintings to, to situations that I can't really control. So I, like a few months ago, I threw two canvases to the sea and I left them in the sea for two weeks. And I, and I lost like total control and then I came back and I found, I only found one, the other one was completely buried. And, you know, and the, and the, and the traces of, and the marks of the ties and the sand and the wind, it was in the canvas, you know, and that was a way of like, oh my God, I've, I've kind of captured, you know, it's like a visual um, representation of like these two weeks that the painting has been like swimming. with the visual thing of like oh my god how how is that and then by you know like over time that memory it might it might come out with with the senses like when you smell something or when you touch something or when you go somewhere else and when you read a book and and, and that memory like comes out in a in a different way in a more like sensitive more sensorial way it's really really abstract because it becomes like an abstract thing it becomes like a sensation like it's like ping and then it's gone yeah with the colors and the papers yeah yeah, yeah. you can really feel yeah i think that's really cool about the paintings because about being an artist because you because when you see a piece that you've produced like it brings you back to that moment when you were working on that 
and you know like when I see my paintings from like years ago I kind of like connect with the moment I was painting it and and with my kind of like mood and my and my emotions of that moment and I mean it's really cool because you can you know grab it and, and kind of feel it and like transport yourself to that moment. I haven't really felt a difference because I spend most of my time like just painting or reading or walking. So, so yeah, I mean, it's it's annoying because I can't see my friends and I can't just be a street archaeologist. But I'm lucky enough that I have a little studio in the countryside. Um, so me and my family have like come here like a couple of months ago and, and I can paint in the garden and I can go for walks with the dog. So it's not too bad. I've got a few paintings on the go here. Um, and I've got two canvases buried in the mountains. So like when this whole thing started, I was like, oh, like I want to try some di something different. So I, so I can like paint it to canvases and I and I dig in a big hole and I kind of bury the canvases there. And I'm expecting like in, in a couple of weeks, I'll, I'll see, you know, what happens. And but like with, with, with the whole rain and the whole like humidity and, and the animals, even in the, in the, in the mountain. Um, I don't know, I have no idea um, what's gonna happen, but I've got that there. I've got some photographs that I took as well, that they are buried. Um, I don't know, like different things going on. I don't know, I'm really excited. To be honest, I have no idea what I'll, what I'll do. I, I just wanna like expose myself to the same process and walk a lot and collect so many things and but maybe try different things. Maybe like um, work with installation or with, with video even, like things I've never worked with. Um, but try to like, um, yeah, be exposed to the city as much as I can and be a sponge. And, and yeah, I'm sure that I'm gonna love it. I'm really excited.